when I first started out at the gym, the goal was to look like this. But as time went on and as I became more experienced both in the gym and in life, I realized that in order to be strong, athletic, aesthetic and attractive to women, you want to look like this. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel then my name is Maticus and I am a newly signed male model and physiotherapist. I've been lifting consistently in the gym for about seven years now. I started lifting at about 20 and I'm 27. In this video, I will be giving you five exercises that you should be doing to build an aesthetic physique. And I will also be leaving a free upper body exercise program in the description below. So the first exercise is the shoulder press. You can either do the standing or seated variations. You can use a barbell or a dumbbell. It kind of is down to preference. So this is a great exercise for building the anterior deltoids and if done correctly, particularly with the barbell variations, it's actually going to strengthen your entire body. It's a great general functional exercise for building overhead strength as well as building up the anterior deltoid. You should aim to work in the 4-8 to eight rep range with the barbell because there's a slight emphasis towards strength. For the dumbbell, you want to be aimed towards 8-12 to 12 repetition range, even up to 15 because there is more emphasis on hypertrophy, on building muscle. Additionally, they did studies and found that if you did an overhead press with a dumbbell, seated or standing, you're also equally working the medial deltoid. The second exercise that you should be doing to build an aesthetic physique is the weighted pull-up or weighted chin-up. This is a great compound exercise for building up your lats, your rear deltoids, but also it does target your biceps, particularly if you do the chin-up variation, which is where your wrists are supinated. This is just going to help you build that Dorito shape or that V taper that you want. They've also done studies and found that it's shown to be the most effective pulling movement, more effective than any other kind of row. So you definitely want to be doing this in your exercise program. Personally, I use reverse pyramid training or RPT. So how reverse pyramid training Training works is that you do like a warm-up set which is about five repetitions of body weight and then you do one to two adjustment sets so that could be like 10 kilos for three repetitions and then an extra 15 kg on your body weight for two repetitions and then you go into a heavier set for four to six reps so for me it would be about 25 kg at the moment and then you drop the weight by about 10 to 20 percent and then you do that for six to eight reps after a sufficient rest period of about two to three minutes and then for the final set, you again drop it by 10 to 20% and then do 8 to 10 repetitions. And then you're done. That's, that's reverse pyramid training. That's quick, easy, efficient, and you are pretty much like getting a PB every session. Alternatively, if reverse pyramid training just isn't for you, then you can do straight sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. You can do maybe 3-4 sets. And then use progressive overload. So the third set is the incline bench press. Again, you can use dumbbells or a barbell. It's mostly down to preference. And this is a great exercise for working your upper chest, but also your anterior deltoids. Because it's a compound movement, it's also working your triceps too. In order to have an aesthetic physique, you don't want to be building your lower chest. You don't want to have it too bulky. Once it reaches a certain size, you don't want to train too much lower chest. But by doing loads of dips and loads of flat bench, it's not going to make you look aesthetic. It's just going to give you big pecs, but big lower pecs. So I personally use dumbbells because I find that it allows a better range of movement. And also I find that the barbells do irritate my shoulders a little bit. For the barbells, you'd work in the four to eight rep range because again, there's more of an emphasis towards strength. And for dumbbells, you'd use more in the eight to 12 rep range because there's more of an emphasis on hypertrophy. The fourth exercise that you need to build an aesthetic physique is the lateral raise. This is a fantastic exercise for building the medial deltoids, which is gonna, again, be responsible for giving you that V taper or that Dorito shape because it's gonna widen your shoulders. It's gonna make you more white. You can actually use dumbbells or you can use a cable machine. Know that if you use a cable machine, you're gonna be humbled because you can't compensate at all with your traps. If you're doing like 10 to 12 kilograms on the dumbbell lateral raise you'll probably be doing like four or five kilos on the cable lateral raise it's just so much harder there's just constant tension on that medial deltoid but also you can't compensate with other muscle groups so actually i would recommend if you can use a cable machine then go for it but at the moment i've been using dumbbells and dumbbells are great too you want to make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades back and down so that you're minimizing the recruitment of your traps and then you want to be doing three to four sets of eight to twelve repetitions the fifth and final exercise that you want to be doing to build an aesthetic physique 
is actually more of a postural correction exercise or it's it's more of like an exercise for shoulder health and to make sure that you're well balanced so you want to be doing reverse flies with a dumbbell or alternatively a long bar row i would actually recommend just doing both so if you have two upper body sessions do one day where you do reverse flies and the other day where you do long bar rows. This is because it's so important to make sure that you're balancing out your muscle groups. If you do a lot of pressing movements, you need to make sure you're working the muscles on your posterior chain as well. You want to aim for about three to four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. So consistency is key. Results will not be overnight. So anyone that promises that it will be is lying to you. But it takes time and energy and effort to build muscle. Basically, it's progressive overload over time over the course of a few months that's how long it will take to build an aesthetic physique sometimes even years to get to where you want to be in general what they found is that if you've been lifting consistently for about two to three years that's enough kind of training to get to where you want to be and then you can maintain it if you want to so i saw this quote a while back and it just really resonated with me we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.